Hello and welcome to Valorant Tournament 1 here in KJC Esports Day 2 Quarterfinals. My name is Gen. And my name is Gast and will be your casters for the night. And we are going to have a really, really great one. The top of the teams, the top Ooh. of the list, and the top of the class. But only one can be crowned as king. And we are just so excited for these map matches both of these two all of these teams are just powerhouses in their own right so it's going to be really exciting isn't it again you know you and me but when it comes to the excitement i am way up there already we've been waiting for this time and finally it is here we had one crazy run at the qualifiers but after all of that grinding and heartbreaks this is it only one team representing their country or city from all across sea hashtag dominate the seas yeah and we're going to have some crazy matches again we talked about it earlier but today the first map match slated for our for tonight's game is going to be foxy's araiko die team versus team ego and these two teams they're absolutely nuts i mean ego alone they both of these teams are very very of course reliant on their top fraggers reliant on that aggression to get on site so we're definitely going to see some crazy crazy stuff aren't we again Oh boy, man. Foxy and I Cordai, they have a relatively new player in their roster. That's Thi, and he has been showing potential. With that new player, they've shuffled up the roles, and so far, so good. While on the other hand, we got Team Ego. Now that's a team that's been together, and not to mention a powerhouse when it comes to map bind. Absolutely. They're absolutely they're they're nuts. Both of these teams, again, you said it yourself, again, so much potential and uh, speaking of potential you guys all hundreds of you watching at home have the potential to win what is it 1500 points 1500 valorant Ooh. points in our giveaway 10 times of course you can only win one at a time but 10 people so <laughs> if you lose once don't worry you have nine chances what do you have to do all you have to do is exclamation point giveaway in the chat and sign up so that you can get your chance to win 1500 valorant points maximize that potential and of course other potential other ways that you can maximize your potential as well is through aim training and we love aim trainers as much as you do which is why we are sponsored by aim labs thank you very very much all right thank you gas for those announcements let's go ahead <laughs> and hop in to our maps man oh man Oh, now I believe the X Factor that is this new player and now new setup from Foxy at Icor Die will definitely be a tide changer. Will we see an OT or just complete domination? Let's check out these maps and whoo! Am I looking at the right thing, Gast, here? Absolutely. This is Bind. Bind, Bind. Oh, well, we did have a discussion about this earlier again. It's how good both of these teams are on Bind, but especially how good ego is on bind we've seen it we've seen this turn into the nizzy show with that early info with these early peaks nizzy is an absolute god on the defensive but foxy though they seem to be pretty good on the attack pretty gone pretty good on the defense themselves and it could prove a little bit of a problem for ego again what are you thinking Oh, I'm thinking Foxy, they, this is their map pick against Team Eagles, a team that has been playing Bind for so long and so good at the same time. I think Foxy and Icorde have something up their sleeves and maybe try to counter the strat that Team Ego has in Bind because they play different agents when they're on other maps, but they always have this one specific setup whenever they play that Bind. So I'm excited to see and find out if they do go for it and if arai kordai can get this win with this map pick buying such confidence man absolutely and and you have to you have to consider again uh arai kordai foxy gaming they they just got picked up so they don't have as much experience as ego as a team that has been through countless amounts of maps and games together and in those countless amount of games bind has a win rate of more than 60 percent 60 percent that's more that is high up there <laughs> that's like winning that's like they win they win like every other game like we will lose one game and then they'll win the other two so 
I don't know. Statistically, if I were a statistician, I would be nervous for Foxy game for Foxy Gaming for for a Raikou type. But again, as you said it before, again, this is Valorant that we're talking about here. Uh, anything can happen when it comes to Valorant with Ego. This is map bind. I mean, if I have to predict a map here statistically, I have to give it to Ego. This is just a best of one and only one team will progress. They are representing their country or city back home. So it's a little bit of a pressure, don't you think, Gast? Absolutely. It's, it's immense pressure and you're going up against a team that's just so good that has been able to prove itself time and again to be at the top. Ego is one of the top teams in the Malaysia, Singapore area. So uh, it's going to be really, really tough for, for Fox for Araiko Day here. What they need to do really is to be cool, to be calm and collected, to get those reads, but more importantly, not to let Nizi go for free. For free, and uh, I was watching. Uh, actually, I was watching a bit of a, a bit, a few, a few vods of Ego. If a Riker guy really All wants right. to win this, they have to mess with Ego's head here. Ego likes to play slow, likes to play a little passive on attack. So, if they can just rest the defensive half from Ego, Ego will be playing defense first. If Foxy, if they can just hold themselves, if they can make it a maybe a six six or even an eight four. Or six four. I, I'm not really that good at math. Around that, <laughs> around those numbers, around those numbers, an eight four, a seven three. They're set for attack. Then they are set for their own defense. Then they can turn those tables. But what you need to shut down is the defensive half of bind from ego if you want to stand a chance against them. So there's a lot of utility use that Foxy Arai Kordai does play with. They have a bunch of these agent picks usually when it comes to bind so i'm excited to see especially i do know that both of these teams they have sovas to play with so the lineups will be there and i'm excited to see what kind of info will be played here i did hear that ego does love all that info play they do they, they really do but it, but as you said it yourself foxy utility gods all right Gordai, utility kings they know what to do with their utility so if nizzy wants to peak uh, Arakuda has just so much counterplay to that. So let's see if this is still viable. After all, the only time that that, or that Ego is able to get away with how Nizzy plays is because they do not have the utility to manage them. Hopefully, we're going to see a little something different from Arakuda, considering they are the new team. But they also have one advantage again. It's the information advantage. They have the VODs, but can they make the most of what they have right now? Oh man, I'm looking at the agent picks right now and I'm looking at <laughs> Foxy Arai Kordai. These guys are ready and locked in and we see Thee with the Viper. Thee has been playing non-stop Killjoy during the qualifiers and in the past and seeing him on the Viper is quite a surprise. But then again, this is Bind and if you know those lineups, you can easily take control of those post plant positions and not to mention they are starting on the attacker's side look at the amount of post plant power you have on foxy and i could die side absolutely it's going to be it's going to be crazy and they know how to use their utility they they're very 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 good with their utility but again the defensive setups from eagle might be a thorn in their side because the question isn't if you can post plant the question is if you can plant to begin with remember mb shoe duct ego in general they are so good at punishing slow play they are so good at punishing utility burning teams so it's going to be really really difficult for fox to get away with what they want using this composition they have to shut down mb shoes hold if they want to generate some sort of pressure to force ego into mistakes Yep, and here we go. The match is on its way, guys. I am more than excited. Welcome, everyone, who's still just tuning in here. This is the VTO Valorant Tournament 1 here in KJC Esports. This is the first round of our quarterfinals. And it is Foxy Arai Kordai versus Team Ego in a best of one. There is no second map. There is no third map. You've got one shot. And let's see what they can do here. So here we go. The map has started. And it looks like a quick up onto the hookah push here with Foxy's team. And already we see 
MB Shu trying to slow them down as the Astro, but with this utility and the scans, look at all this information that they've got. MB Shu down to 1 HP and Waterfly just hops in and takes him out, clearing that side. They still have Duck on the side of B-Long. Does get one and gets away with it with only 11 HP left. This is an explosive round coming out from Foxy and Icor Tai. Like you said, Team Ego does power up Last with the slow standing. plays, but look at the HPs. The HPs on Team Eagle as they took out the rest of Foxy and Icor Die. Overdose has got a lot of work to work with here, but just one taps all across the board. Even the members left alone. Dunko does get a 3k and finishes him off. Holy moly. And that was really, that was really, really good from uh, Ego there. That was a great retake. But if you look at how fast the rotates came in, the rotates came as fast as they did because Ego, they're playing for that information. They are pushing out these long angles. And that's what's critical here to Ego. Because the Ego, with their composition, they're really, really good at delaying. But at the same time, just as good as pushing for information. Heading Duck on that lurk uh, down long and Dunko non on that lurk down down showers is exactly what won them these rounds here it's knowing where to rotate and being quick at it but more importantly they're just so cracked at dueling oh my gosh look at this not not to mention the dueling the foxy and right Die went for this force by and look at this t already popping up and flying in with those snake bites trying to clear up the corners and with that scan as well they spot where meowth is holding down here and they have the information, but they get slowed down by the Astra MB shoe. Looks like they're trying to flash in and try to push up here. But Nizzy does take out Ace Aesthetics here. While the rest of the team, just a frag coming in left and right. It's all up to Nizzy and Duck. Left alone for this retake. The bomb has yet to be planted here. They're actually healing up here with this guy. Gather around the campfire and have some more HP. And it looks like they, they might just rotate yeah. this bomb. They're slowing it down. The pace has slowed down. This is the force by Nizzy and Duck. They have to be careful. It looks like it will be Duck who might spot the members of Foxy or Riker die here. But Nixie no. spots Wanna Fly who's trying to get behind him. And Duck holding the angle does spot Kong a red. It's all down to PP overdose. But Nizzy wins the gunfight and they take the round two to zero. Oh no. I mean. Look at how Nizzy's playing. And, and we piped them up earlier. Nizzy is really, really good on defense, on, on aggression. But more importantly, the reason why he's so good is because he's able to just have a eyes at the back of his head here. He knew the lurk was coming. He knew he knew that Arai or Dai were slowing down the play. What did that mean? It meant that somebody was going to be pushing him from somewhere because he was the threat that was stopping them from the plant. Great awareness from Nizzy because if Arai or Dai takes him down, they take that game. Revealing and right now, we head into round three. Foxy and Riker die finally going opting for this half by actually with sheriffs all across the board and even half armor here. So let's not count him out just yet, but it is still Spectres and the Judge here in this hookah side. And Bishu is just holding the corner, but Duck does take out Wanna Fly, and there are no more members left there. They are pairing up and trying to take control of this hookah side, but now that Long is cleared up, Astro just trying to slow it down with the smokes. So they try and do something about this as the scatter from Foxy's Arachor died looking for a pick somewhere across this map. So the Reed is still trying to be found Scanning here with ahead. a man disadvantage on Foxy's side. And it looks like Ace Aesthetics does get scanned by this recon bolt. So that's information that a member is here, but they don't bring any sort of rotation. Mof is going back to the A side. This could be very dangerous for Team Eagle here as they spot the Trailblazer looking for some action onto this hookah side. They know there's a judge waiting down here. And it looks like the push coming out from the long side. And the rotation's coming in as well. They're trying to get this bomb down. Hookah is still in control. Left. Looks like they're giving this side. And they will play for this retake as some action already onto this defender side. Aesthetics trying to spray down this smoke. Here comes the Owl Drone looking for some sort of action. Overdose with the ultimate. Does point him out of there. Who half HP left onto Mo. So, so that's time actually being used here. We hear that Sancho's coming in, but Overdose does not get the frag. Dunko does flick onto him, and here comes the defuse coming in. The post plant position is coming out from Foxy at Riker Die, not working out for them. This is just their eco round that looks like just a cleanup for Team Ego. Man, that was a that was still a pretty good eco from them, but again, they didn't have the guns to make that hold, and the 
orbital strike there was just a play down from the almighty heavens they wanted they wanted to hope they wanted to believe and they had the power positions here they had some sort of control over elbow they had some sort of back control over back side but just the team play the team play from ego is what's pun what's so punishing them but more importantly it isn't just that it's the fact that dukon dukonon and nizi are just completely tearing it up right now again that is true. These two duelists, they, you gotta be careful when you try to mess with them. But here we go. The buy round coming out from yeah, Foxy at Ike or Die. That's rifles all across the board. Team Eagle, they've gotta be careful. They still have Spectres being held down here. So they might just opt for this close range fights. Here comes Wanna Fly just flying into this site by his name. He has the bomb and he might just plant just in a few seconds here. Will he realize? There we go. He does realize he has the bomb. The smokes are down and it looks like it will be out here. A shock dart comes out from Mope. Does put Wanna Fly to 4 HP left and with that frag he might fall here. He will. Dunko does get Wanna Fly. That's the raise frag. Falling to them and the showstopper being used. Will he get any value? No. D does deny him. Luxury trying to leer in his team. But the brimstone smokes just so long. It's too long to try and push into. A ZX holding down this elbow side. It's all down to Luxury. He has to clutch it for his team to bring it to a 4-0 or will Foxy attack or die. Finally, play this like a T and here we go. The bait from the Flash, man. Woo. Get you baited. That's what we're talking about. These utility plays are just so good, but that was a little bit close for a Rikor die. It was the individual peaking from Ego. It looks like they let their own team name get to them just a little bit, and they took those duels. They took those 1v1s and simply put, even though, even though, Ego had all the map control down critical areas. We're talking elbow. We're talking hall. They still couldn't win simply because they were taking those 1v1s against a team that's not just good at utility, but willing to make those plays. Yeah, and speaking of utility, Dunt and MB Shoot, they're holding the Cypher and the Astra, and it's super expensive for those abilities. And now look at them. It's MB Shoot holding down just a judge, and all of this action happening over to this A showers. Trying to take control of the A shower orb here. We even see Hunter's Fury being used. It might catch Luxury Nixie. Nizzy does fall and gets a second. That's don't go down. That's the duelist down. Those are the action that we've been waiting for Foxy. And now, there's, with a 3v5, Foxy might just have this in the bag. Or will Duck, MB Shu, and Mo from Team Ego have any say? And it because Mo gets a shock dart kill on Tekanga right here. Trying to spray down the members, but Overdose does trade him out. MB Shu with a judge. Surprises D. Trying to push up close into the defender's side. And with this new world theft, they actually get the information. And it's still very doable coming out from Team Ego to try and take this round. Overdose still just running the marathon here over onto this B side. They have the Cypher Traps here. So they have everything they need and with Silva Ascetics pulling out that recon bolt and with that camera spotting them as well that will call for the rotation to enter this B site as the plant sound does come in we see wanna fly holding down this portal side but there won't be any value coming out of that because duck and MB Shu does push up into this defender yeah. side B hall so now they're just waiting for this brimstone smoke as it dissipates the post plant position is here they do have some utility to work with coming out from MB Shu but that's the last star here and it will be used to smoke down this hookah side this post plant is looking scary gas I think there's not a lot left here for team ego one enemy remaining wow what a kill on duck and <laughs> Absolutely, again. That was a really, really, that was a really, really good adjustment from Fox, from Foxy here, because it wasn't just dueling. It wasn't just them getting the picks. It was them one using that utility, using the Hunter's Fury and the Snake Bite to push two people, their top fraggers, Nizzy and Dung, out <laughs> of baths and into the loving arms of a Hunter's Fury. But more importantly, look at the adjustment from Foxy here. Their adjustment is what secured them the round. They know that Astra and Cypher are going to be playing on B. So they, they so they just make the adjustment and that's what's winning them these rounds. The adjustments and the reads. That is true. With this read coming out and whoo, an aggressive push coming up from MB Shu. It is just their eco round. Sheriffs and half armors across the board, but it's not counting them out just yet. Wanna fly does punish the push and now they're just slowing it down, looking for more as Overdose gets a frag onto Nizzy, trying to see if there's anyone in the shower as well. You found Overdose and it looks like you just got Overdose. Here we go, T picking up the kill. The other entry onto Dung as well. Looks like it will just be another cleanup coming out from Foxy, which is Duck 
left behind Spike all left. the way far away into this B side. Let's see if he tries to find any sort of exit frag here, but it looks like that's round done here, Gast. Yeah, yeah, again and again. It's it's there. Foxy is starting to read. This is where it gets very, very dangerous for Ego. Because now that Foxy, okay, watch this. Okay, <laughs> what a fly taking on dog. Now that Foxy has the read, now that Foxy has the read on how generally Ego is going to position themselves, how generally Ego is going to play, they were able to get those critical frags. They were just saying, they just said, hey, Ego's on a default. You know what that means? They're going to push. <laughs> Why? Because we know they're aggressive. We know they like to hold defensive positions aggressively. Let's just wait for them to come to us. Default, bang, bang, you're dead. First blood. And then just like that, they just tumble one by one by one. There has to be an adjustment. There has to be a, a change from putting Astra and Cypher, from putting Ambishu and Duck on B. They have to adjust if they want to beat Foxy's read here. And it looks like they will try and test this minor adjustment as they place the Cypher Trap actually over onto this A short side. But none of the members of Foxy at Akrodai are there at all. They're still contesting this shower side, trying to take control of this orb and the action as well. Might get a kill. Duncan, he has to be careful if he peeks up here as it is already in control of Foxy at Akrodai's team. And it looks like it might be a push coming up from A as we see Thee clearing up the Cypher this Trap. And that's some information that we will be here. V is already really close into here and look at the ults being used. Coming out from the members of Foxy and Iker die. Wanna Fly does get a kill onto Dunkanum, but Dunkanum was able to take him out before that rocket flew out. Nizzy gets the frag onto Kanga Red from the heaven side. That was a spike down and that's a little few, few more seconds to try and delay this entry here. And here we go, Cosmic Divide being used. This pushes Foxy and Iker die into the site. Where into the hands of the members of e Team Ego. And look at this. Overdose nice. does get one. Actually, one gets remaining. another MV. They're just trading them out. The Cosmic Divide not working oh, towards their favorites. All up to Moff. And he immediately gets fragged down by T. Oh, now look, look, look. Foxy's in their heads. Foxy's in their heads again. Ego, Ooh. they're starting to panic a little bit. You saw that oh. Nizzy is trying to be the hero, trying to get these 1v1s, but they got a little overconfident. They were like, 4v3, we have Nizzy. We're, we can do this, we can win. And then they get punished by Foxy. Oh. Foxy has the reads. Foxy understands what Ego wants to do. That's why they're throwing these mollies. That's why they're fighting for these orbs. Again, the adjustments. Play a little more passively, Ego. Get your bearings because it's not going to work out against a smart team like Foxy. Oh my gosh, the amount of commitment that happened from that last round. Here we go, Duck Double actually spots yeah. four with that spy camp. That's a lot of information. Look at the rotations they're trying to put up here. Trying to get the members back in here. They might surprise Foxy at Icor die as Hunter Free does get committed and being used, trying to slow them down as well. Wanna fly flying into the site and takes out MB Shu and now stuck getting caught out into this brimstone smoke man the brimstone smoke has been clutched so far coming out from overdose just clearing out the angles up to this b side with the utility use coming out from foxy and i could die duncan Nun does take out one apply was being a little too aggressive here into this push so they're still waiting for the smoke to dissipate before they can try and take them out and another smoke coming out from the viper this time pp overdose taking out mof it's looking helpless coming out here for the members of Team Ego, only duelists left here. And look at this Aljon about to spot Nizzy, or will he? There we go. That's the scan, and it might be One a bait remaining. coming out as Dunko does take out Kong Red, who was supposed to take out Nizzy, but he is there to trade him out. Nixie all down in a 1v3, not a lot of time left, and it looks like Foxy will take this round. Or? Okay. I mean, oh, he goes down. And, and again, again, we said it. We, we, we talked about how smart Foxy is at reading them. But now they're in Ego's heads. Ego, they're making these mistakes. They're making these small mistakes that are costing them these games. Ducked, peeking out of elbow. All of them going for these 1v1. All of them going for these 1v1s. Moth just throwing that Hunter's Fury all by himself, not able to successfully set anything up for his team. It's these small mistakes that are happening because Foxy just has the read on them. They need to reset, they need to calm down, and this oh eco could be an opportunity for just that. And here we go. That might be just as you said, a sky flash coming out already into the shower side. They're really trying to take control, trying to keep Team Ego out of this shower orb and aesthetics. Just taking out Nizzy, who is trying to frag here and want to fly. 
with the combination onto Dunko as well. So now it's a 3v5 retake. Hopefully for Team Ego, they still have some Spectres to work with here, but it's against the long range rifles and the post plant coming out from Foxy Arlai Cordai. The post plant and the utility use coming out from these teams is just insane here. For Team Ego, they have yet to make a response. Here we go, MV2 will spot. Wanna fly gets the frag down to 47 HP. They are moving as a pair here, and it's working nice. out for them. They get another frag. It's still a 3v3. They still have the Astro Stars, and here comes the Stars. They try to obscure the vision. MV2 getting the frag of Overdose. Kongar is still there on the side in the behind of Mouth and MV2. Duck is still yet to enter the side, but get the Sheriff headshot on the Kongar Red. He's trying to wall bang him up, but Ascetics with the advantage of that Aldrone recon bolt will take the round three to six is the scoreboard in favor of foxy arai Dai. foxy must really be hurting after that round oh. that was expensive for them but more importantly that's what we were talking about again the reason why the reason why ego is so good as a team is because they play exactly as that as a team they use their utility for each other they run that buddy system that read by foxy that download on them rattled them it made them want to play individually but now they did exactly what they wanted to do they played as a team they played together and they must be happy walking out that route with as much value as they did and look at this they gamble once again team ego onto this b side opting to put this sova move over there and it looks like just the duelist left alone onto this a side look at this the old coming out here we go they know where the members of team ego are here they try to pull out this showstopper try and slow them down as much as he can dunko does get a frag on one and with that hunter's fury Nizzy trying to run away from it into the hands of Overdose. And look at this Viper's Pit finally being used here. And the power angle coming up from Wannafly. MB Shu was not expecting it. And he falls back to another power angle here into this Lamp's side. It's all up to Duck and Mo. And the utility That's just being game. used from Fox, the Raikor die. Team Ego still has no answer oh. from it. Look at this. Even the Pain Shell just putting mouth down to 92 ahead. HP left. 34 shield. It's a Viper's Pit. He has to go through and two other members. It's looking grim here, Gas. It looks like it will be just another round for Foxy and Icor dying. Oh man, that was the that was a hard read by by Foxy, oh. and, it, and it wasn't even a it wasn't even a super hard read. Ooh. It was just an idea that they had. Look at this, the Love family is gonna try to get Mof, <laughs> but Mof is gonna back off. He's gonna move back to site. But again, it's not it's not even a read read anymore. Ego fell into the same trap of individually peeking, trying to slow everything down because the thing that Ego is known for, the thing that they are known for on their defense, is stall. That is what they're known for. They're known to punish slow teams. But against a team that like Foxy, they they can't do it. They can't do it, especially when Foxy is so good with these utilities. Look at PP Overdose. Look at the Love family using Viper and Brimstone to just clear everything. And Kong Garrett is like, you're blind. You can't see anything. And while that's happening, there's utility being dropped everywhere. There's smokes. There's fire. There is damage everywhere. Again, it's the utility that's winning them these rounds. They have to be shut down. They have to figure out something. Standing ahead. That is true. Foxy and Akardai are just so good in clearing out the corners without even showing where their bodies are. It's just utilities, bombs, snake bites, molotovs coming out here. And a showstopper being committed as Wannafly flies up into the air and takes out MB Shu. Does pick up a lot of his HP down. And look at this. Dunko and Nizzy with the spray down gets a double. And Dunko, this is the adjustment that Team Ego needed. The frags are coming in. It's all down to the... He is left on a 1v4, taking this first frag and a second as well as he walks through his smoke. It's still very doable and still very scary coming out from Team Ego, even though those frags came out. Look at that flick coming out from T. He gets spotted by the spy cam and it's still ducked on a 1v1 T might still be able to get this Ooh, he almost gets baited by the spy cam but duck does hide away there is all the time for the but oh! duck with the peaker's advantage take him out and saves team ego from gritting their oh, team last round they in the needed half. that round they had to make sure that this doesn't end a 9-3 because it's dangerous again ego's strongest half is defensive and foxy just shut them down they just shut them down with utility they shut them down with team play on every single level foxy gaming they are all showing up not a single weak link on their side <laughs> Man, Ego is getting a crazy run for their money again. They just have to play retake. They cannot combat all of this utility from Foxy Gaming here. That is true. It will be hard 
for them to Spike pull up their the utility case. if they lose one member already. PP Overdose flying to Dunco. This is something they wanted, but Kala Red actually taking him out a little too aggressive from Duncan Nun. Looks like he wanted to get more and he got nothing else out of it. Now the man advantage has been fallen. It's still two members out from Foxy at Icrodias, but one of Fly just equalizes it as he takes out Nizzy here onto this A side. Again, another push coming out from Team Ego. They are getting punished by Foxy at I Could Die. Looks like Foxy at I Could Die has conditioned Team Ego that they will play sort of slow or fast, but this time they are holding their angles. And look at this. They're just waiting. They're leaving Aesthetics here onto this B long. And looks like the read is there as they slow it down. 45 seconds left on the clock, and they are walking that bomb. Afraid that there might be Blinded. someone holding up, pushed up into this hookah side, especially since you notice Team Ego's members just pushing up A short and long as well. But here we go. With 35 seconds left on the clock, they push through the Cypher and Astra traps, and Wannafly just flies in, as left. usual, as his name, and gets this spike down as oh, soon as he oh, can. Oh, but oh. Uh, look at this Hunter's Fury. He will get the plant down, but that will sacrifice. Is life remaining. and aesthetics falls as well from the sh oh no Hunter Fury taking him out because he was spotted by the spy camp and MBSU just finished off the members of Fox yet I could die. Finally, Ego getting their bearings right now. That was a really really great defense coming from them. Most great utility sides. usage, but let's let's be real. The reason why they won was because of the information from the camera of Duct mixed with the complete and total elbow control of MB Shu. And that's the power of these Sentinels. That was a great hold from MB Shu and Duct. And the, the, the discipline, the patience to wait oh. for their teammates to just move in before they do anything, playing off of each other, playing off of the utility. That's exactly the kind of reset that Ego needed in order to take this half back. And it's not a bad defensive half, but again, we have not seen how good, how good Foxy Gaming is on the defense. So they have to watch out because Foxy Gaming, they're not playing Sentinels here. They are playing Viper. They are playing Retake or Info. That is true. It is. Initiation and controllers coming up from Foxy at Icor Dai's setup here. And looks like the Astro Star is being used here. Onto this A site, a lot of commitment of utilities coming out from Team Ego onto this pistol round. The half has been finished. Five to seven is the score. Still in favor of Foxy at Icor Dai. But during that first half, they do. Team Ego does pull it back a little bit, giving them more breathing space for this switch up onto this attacker's side and let's see how well foxy arai Dai will hold out against team ego looks like team ego just playing it really slow here just running across this a short and b hookah trying to make even more noise onto this b side here as they try and up for this push onto this a side and with that leer coming out it is just attention we are here onto this ASAP. We are pushing up. The Shock Dart does connect a little bit here. And ooh, HP going down. Aesthetics and Nixie just walking fast by each other inside this Astro Smoke. None of them falls. Doug does get a frag onto one of Fly, but Overdose is there to trade him out onto this side of the shower. Ooh, gets a nice headshot from PP Overdose taking out Nizzy here. And now that shower control for Foxy and I could die. So it's just a short coming out from the members of Team Ego. Looks like it's still a 2v1 with only 20 HP left on the ZX. Looks like a round will be for Team Ego. Yep, that was a pretty standard, pretty standard attack from, uh, from Ego here. Just playing off of each other, just playing it slow. Good work from them to try to take this round. And it looks like they're going to be going for those at Spectre by. This is a crucial round. This is a turning point. Because if Ego doesn't win this round, economy could just snowball completely in favor of Foxy here. So they want to make sure that they leave nothing to chance. They want to stomp Foxy's feet, uh, faces into the ground and give them a chance to just recover from that bad now. half. But looking at how they're playing right now, again, with more utility, playing a lot slower, getting in Foxy Gaming's head, that's exactly Smoke's what they need right now. Oh, look at this. The information coming out here from Foxy at Icor Die. Looks like it might just be the call for a B pusher. PP Overdose falling onto this angle as a pain shell tries to push him off down to 7 HP. He still has a 7 frenzy on hold, but it looks like it will just be a push from B Long. They bait the hookah side and they come out of this B Long side. Kong Red is alone onto this side and Embishu does easily take him out with Nizzy and this Spectre. The Spectre's working out here. It's one of with a story. Huh? Curious to see if he gets anything out of it, but Nizzy does take him out. So the gun advantage does work out for our attackers here onto Team Ego's side. And it will be another round for them. They equalize the score 7-7. Seven to seven. 
Still, still a pretty good kill from Foxy. They just needed one. They just needed one, Ken. They just needed one. They'll be happy with that extra 300 creds. They'll be walking home and saying, yeah, yeah, we did a good thing. But again, that was a pretty standard pretty standard take. What, what I'm really noticing here is the respect that Foxy has for Ego. They, they know that Ego's not running a default. They have to experiment more with that aggression because the passivity is just not working out. And playing an Eco round like a standard round is not going to give you the economic damage that you want. Foxy got to play more aggressive or just end up getting rolled by this attack here. Speaking of getting aggressive, look at the shower play. There's three members here, and the recon bolt actually pushes them away, and they try to make a reset here. Here comes the doggy doggy does take the information that they do spot two members here outside the shower side. So that's information for Foxy at Icor Die that it might be just a, but they're holding down their ground just in case it might just be an info trap or just the lurks coming out. But once again, this is the default that Team Ego has been doing every single round so far that they just run around this mid side and look for any sort of opening for them. And now with this information, the PP overdose is over there onto this brimstone smoking this A side. They have to face D with this judge. It is the Viper and looks like the bait coming out here. Just get one. And look at that. They just immediately run away from that smoke. No one wants to deal with a judge into this hookah side. They have to pull him out, out of there with some sort of utility usage. Here we go. The spike cam and the recon bolt as well. They have to be careful, but here we go. Luxury with those specters. They just run and gun him out. Ascetic is there with a phantom. Try and trade him out, but Luxury. Nizzy, once again, with that Spectre, they're just running left. down the clock here and into the site. They get the plant down, and it's going to be a retake for Foxy at Icor Diet. They have a good advantage with these Phantoms and Vandals, so they have some sort of work on against the team that is Team Ego. They have the utility as well, but the post map position, they are still afraid of it. They're waiting for the lurk coming out from their hookah side for Kong Red to enter this side. Looks like the flash comes in, and with that information, they do spot the members, but Duck does get the frag, and oh no, one fly takes him out, but here we go. They do clear up the site, and they still take it for Foxy at Icor Die. That 78, they bring back some sort of momentum. It really was just Foxy being good at good at what they do. Foxy, again, we built it up before, we'll do it again. Their team play, on point. Their utility usage, on point. Their composition, it's basically built for retaking. They they might want they might want the love and PP overdose to slow everything down. But when it comes down to it, they're going to go for information using those utilities. They're going to go for retake if they have to. And more importantly, they're going to take the better positioning. It was just a positioning difference, an ability difference, a fundamental difference across every single board. This is why Foxy Gaming is so dangerous on this defensive side here. Oh, not to mention the Judge still being used by Thee here to try and hold this hookah side. And once again, Foxy and Hardcore die trying to take control of the shower side, but Moff just sprays down the smoke and the timing is not there for Konga Red. Konga Red falls immediately to him. That's a man disadvantage already and look at this gravity wall trying to catch one to fly no flying for you you're stuck on this ground pain shell does not connect outside of the shower side and it looks like they have to reset here they're pulling more members onto this a side leaving the alone onto this b he has the judge and the hook of control to work with here just half armor is coming out from foxy at acrodite even though they won that last round it was an expensive round especially since it was just sort of a bonus round coming out from team ego as they only had the specters to hold there nizzy gets the angle and takes out one of fly who was still roaming around this a side so that's another defender falling here comes another defender they're falling down like flies beep your overdose ascetics dying to the members of team ego here onto this a side team ego with the gun they fear it's all down to the with just a judge to work with and it looks like he will just want to try and save up and look for any sort of misstep coming out from team ego Oh, yeah, but it's looking dangerous. I mean, there's not much he's going to do except hang around. And that was a great play from from Ego here. This is what this is where we talk about the change up. You remember how Ego Ego kind of kind of lost their bearings when Foxy Gaming was <laughs> getting in their heads with the reads. Well, it's a bit different in their situation. Foxy Gaming getting a little bit confused and a little bit anxious. Love the <laughs> family is going to be <laughs> doing do on, on. But yeah, again, Ego. They're getting in the heads of Foxy, not because of the reads, but just because Foxy cannot handle how good at dueling the entirety of Ego is. MB Shu, Nizzy Luck, Nizzy, Nizzy, Mouth Duck, Dunkonon, they are all 
so good at what they do. And what they do, again is frag out. And that has to be so terrifying. And that has to be the root of Foxy, Foxy Gaming here. They are afraid of how good <laughs> how good Ego is. They are, they are very patient. They are very respectful. And playing very passive because they know how much they're going to get punished for aggressive plays. And Ego is getting to them. And it could be the Ego turnaround here again. Oh, Nancy, that is true. It is 8-8, eight to eight, the score right now. And look at this. They do take control of one orb here and that gives the the vipers pit and they will hold down this b side like a stronghold a castle holding out here look at this don't come down with a showstopper predicts where the is gonna be holding and he takes him out that's vipers pit down and that's the vandal the only rifle coming up from foxy right or die in the middle of the open so it will just be a cleanup as they steamroll over this b side all down to overdose of 62 HP left. Nizzy catches him. And it will be the round for Team Ego. Momentum shift, momentum shift, Gan. This is what we love to see. Don't go on Nizzy. Getting those frags, getting those injuries, but more importantly, catching Foxy off guard here. Foxy, they're trying to delay. They're switching up their strategy. They're not going for the retake. They're going for the delay. But Ego is just like, you know what? F it. We're not gonna. We're not gonna worry about positioning. We're just gonna jump in. We're just gonna throw utilities. They're gonna have to face us one way or another. And this is the strategy from Ego here: throw utility until we force a duel and win. Brilliant yeah, stuff yeah. from a duelist-centric team here. Exactly, man. The duels—they're winning every single time. Whenever it drive, look at this. Hunter's Fury being used, and the counter Hunter's Fury as well. They cancel out Foxy and Icro. That's the Hunter's Fury gone. to try and run away from it. So that's the Hunter's Fury from both sides being committed. No value at all, but a little tag onto the Sova. Z with the Viper and that Vandal on this hookah side takes out MB Shu. That's Astra down. No more stars will come out from Team Ego's side. It will be so heavily much harder and challenging to enter this site without any sort of cover they have to work with here just ducks maybe a cypher cage but look at this the utility and the push the lurk coming out from the taking out duncan up from behind and with that confusion ascetics takes the frag here onto duck as well they have completely read team eagle like a book here but nizzy still has something to say about it he is way behind enemy lines here as he leaves mouth still holding down his angle nizzy getting the first frag he has the empress mode to work with here will he commit it just not yet he does try and bait out the members here as they made the tp for mouth to go onto this a side he has to be careful because pp overdose is walking just stalking him from behind but look at this mouth gets the plant where he needs to plant it which is where nizzy is holding her angle so now it is now the retake coming out from Foxy and Icordyne, but they sniff Moth out of this left side with that ultimate coming out from PP Overdose. It's still Nizzy alive. Gets a third as well. Be careful here. It's the Empress you have to work with. Get the fourth as well. He hides away with this dismiss. The showstopper being committed. Trying to flash him out. It's a 1v1. Wanna fly. Has to be careful. Luxury. Nizzy does not have the angle. And the ace comes in. They take one to fly and Team Ego still controls the map here there is nothing to say again there's nothing to say nizzy he saw he's on something he's on something again you can't convince you otherwise this guy is so crap that's insane that's so insane i mean hats off to that rotation hats off to mouth just rotating through a but it wouldn't have been possible if nizzy just wasn't like hey guys i'm in your spot are you gonna push me i don't think so and that's what's winning them these rounds and again individual heroics great adjustment great play from nizzy 10-8 for ego 10-8 in favor of ego man such a star play saving team ego out here now Foxy at Icor died. They had such a good opening from that last round. And now they have to fall back and on, onto this half by Nizzy. Still hot on the hands, taking two entries already. This is just a half by coming out from the members of Foxy at Icor die, And they're trying to find any value out of it. But look at this, Team Ego. The confidence is way up there. Not again, again. Two different approaches to this game. Uh, Ego, they set it up with their utility to force awkward Ooh. duels into the loving arms of Dung and Nizzy, Mouth, Duck, and Bishu. Foxy, they use that utility to find 
to find these favorable fights, to find this sort of this information, and to just chip away at their HP so that we can take them down. And this is the critical thing. Foxy, they're losing that team play that they were using to win their attacking half. They gotta play closer together. They gotta play for more of these stalls because Ego's just gonna run away with this. And look at this, with 11 to 8 on the scoreboard, they have to be careful. This is the, this is the buy round coming out from Foxy at Icor Die. They cannot lose this round and give Team Eagle the match point, so they have to do something here. They gambled their members onto this B side as the push has always been here into this B. And look at this! Nizzy just pushing up, catches the pants down with that snake bite on hand. Duncan on chiming in, taking out ascetics from behind the site, and that's a clear. If you're Foxy and I could die, this is not what you want to happen. And with that neural theft as well, they know where the rest of the members of Foxy and I could die are coming. And it will be just their spawn. So now they still have some smokes to work with coming out from PP over those here as they use it up. But Move takes him down. No more controller from you. Wanna fly still up here. Has anything to say? Coming out into this lab side. Kong Red chimes in. Takes out Nizzy. That's a star player down. They know two members are in the labs, but they try and push it in. MB Shu punishes him with Move's back up there. It's all up to Wanna Fly. Uh, Kong Red, sorry. All alone on a 1v3 here. Just the sky to play with. He's been scanned down, getting gravity weld. He's just slowed down all the way as MB Shu finishes him up. 12 to 8 is the score, guys. Ego giving them a taste of their own medicine here, and the ego has, has found it. They found their bearings. They found they. It seems like they figured out how to deal with the Foxy Foxy Gaming's Ooh. utility utility here. They're just walking into these sites like animals. Just get, taking every duel, duel after duel, and MB Shu is so good at forcing the duels in favor of Ego. Foxy Gaming, they have to play that aggression again if they want to win. Stack a site, use your utility for retake because the stalls just aren't working in their favor. It looks like we're gonna have an A push here. Uh, the rest of the team, Ascetic is gonna try to find information. He finds one, and Wanna Fly is just gonna be holding that angle again. They wanna get this aggression, they wanna hold it, but Duck, he's pushing. Duck Conan has the angle on V, and V falls. It's going to be a 5v4 now. It's going to be an open site. But does Ego walk in? Because they're waiting. They want to bring out the rotations from Foxy. They want to get in their heads, hold them down, <laughs> and maybe find a dual on a rotation along the way here we go the slowdown does come up here 12 to 8 is the score the pressure is on foxy at icor die they lose one member and they're trying to slow it down they do not want to lose this round if they want to try and try and opt for this overtime and mb Shu pulling out the cosmic divide is does not look good for foxy at icor die they actually bait the a side and it's working out for them the rotations are coming in. Ascetics actually has to fall back here. Delir comes in. He tries to push through it. Goes they don't cut none with that running phantom. But Duck has a say into it as trades him out. Nizi getting the frag on to Wanna Fly. There's just two members left onto Foxy at Icardi. They have to bait this plant. Only 10 Five seconds planted. left, but it will be down. And the counter has started. They have to go for this retake. Kongred gets one, immediately gets raised off. And it looks like it will be the round for Team Ego. They win this match. And that is Team Ego, who will be advancing to the semifinals. GG to both teams. Team Arikodai, they tried their best. Woo. Absolutely. And it looked it looked really, really in favor of Foxy here. The reads, the understanding of how Ego is going to play. They had that understanding. But as soon as attack came, came in, all strats just came out the window. They started playing passively. They were respecting Ego a little too much. And this is the thing. You give Ego an inch and they will take 28. They will take 28 kills. Lark Nizzi and Dung Dungon on leading the charge. But again, it was great. It was a great back and forth. But when it came down to it, it was all about the mental fortitude again. It was just ego. They were able to keep 
mm -hmm. keep their heads on when they were losing so that they could take their round back. But Foxy, that we couldn't say the same. They started playing more passive. They started playing for these individual duels, getting a little bit angsty, getting a little bit impatient. And that's what lost them this defensive side. But mm -hmm. we probably will expect a lot of great things from both of these teams because they have showed us just the different like cerebral and W key <laughs> ways that you can approach Valorant. <laughs> didn't they get? Oh man, this attacker side, they just dominated every attacker side onto this bind map. But once again, it will be Team Ego coming up on top. GG to Foxy, Arai, Kordai. They have to fall out from the tournament here. And it will be Team Ego pushing up through the semifinals here in the Valorant Tournament 1 on KJC Esports. We will be taking a break before we head into round two. Hold your horses here. It will be Zeal Esports versus Tadak. So sit back, relax. My name is Gen. And I'm Guest. And we'll see you in five minutes, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to KJC Esports Into the Scene. My name is Gen, and this time coming all the way from Indonesia, he's here now in the video call online. <laughs> from Team Kingslayers, we've got Pandog F, once an observer for Rainbow Six Siege, now a player in Valorant. Let's go ahead and check them out and maybe find out more. So let's go ahead and start on with the interview. I hope you don't mind the condiments prepared by KJC Esports. You know, if you get hungry, just grab one of the chocolate chip cookies. I'm going to grab one now. You know? Uh, hey, so good. Do, do you like cookies? Oh, yeah, yeah, sure, sure, sure. Oh, yeah, oh, go ahead. Have... Oh, oh, there we go. <laughs> hey, 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 hold it up there, people, to see. All right, there you go. Don't move it around too much because the editor will kill me. <laughs> All right. I think this is good. Uh, this is good. Um, um, Mm, yummy. <laughs> Thank you for the cookies, I think. Uh, yeah, perfect. Okay, all right. So welcome to OneTap. I am the wacky gamer of KJC Esports. So if you guys don't know what OneTap is, the goal of the show is to give you guys, the viewers, a clear shot of the people that make the Valorant Esports scene here in the Philippines. So from pros, casters, production, and many more roles. Because without these people, there would be no scene. 
So, but first before that, if you've missed any of our previous episodes or can't catch the show live, drop by our YouTube channel as we upload the full videos there. And if you just want highlights, feel free to check out our Twitter, Facebook, or Instagram. So, if you guys follow the Valorant esports scene here in the Philippines, you may know that the one in charge of organizing and producing the streams we watch is PPGL. But who's actually in charge for VCT Southeast Asia? making it possible for all these top teams to face each other. So tonight's guest is a Riot employee, uh, and he's worked quite some time now in esports, not just in his position now, but also in casting. So tonight's guest is Alex Archambaugh, uh, or on Twitter, Opalcast. Classic to work with here, and they're not gonna get much out of it. Jeju Island down to 12 HP from the Ooh, The oneness! Whoa. A triple spray down! Huge kills from wow. him. It is just the eco. John Kun. John Kun's only job is to throw his body to the fire and get a kill. He does get one! John Kun! No way! Showstopper is going to be committed as well. Killers is going to be going. Hunter's Fury committed to. He has to walk into this crossfire. Goes for one, goes for a second, and goes for a third. Nathan going down, Delen taking him down in exchange, but peeking into two people is... Hey guys, my name's Gen, and welcome back to Post Plan Chat. Today's news dates all the way back to 2020 regarding the Singaporean team resurgence of their 2020 roster, specifically on Germ SG and Dreamy CSGO. Hey there in Post Plan Chat, I am from the future. And I apologize for any inconvenience, but we wanted to clear things up. The five players in the Resurgence 2020 roster that played were Germ SG, banned for 36 months, Ballplek and Jab the Boy, banned for 12 months, Ben Aff and Mort Dekai, banned for six months. All right. And then we have the third parties, Dreamy CSGO, who provided capital for Germ SG's plan banned for 36 months. And then we had Kalel, a whole different other player, okay, who provided evidence about the match fixing. All right, crystal clear. Hey guys, and welcome to KJC Esports Into the Scene. My name is Gan, and this time coming all the way from Indonesia, he's here now in the video call online <laughs> from Team Kings. <laughs>
and we are back hello everybody i'm your caster gast and i'm your other caster gen <laughs> <laughs> yeah so uh it looks like we're gonna be heading into our last match of the night between zeal esports and todak two again very very prolific very very good teams again drop some knowledge on the, these teams here they're pretty oh great oh my gosh not to mention this is zeal esports they, they used to be they used to be the former 6045 pirates and with their pickup on fireside gin it's been so aggressive just pushing up and getting those frags every single time and they work around it and over onto this Todak side we are going to be looking at a map bind here and recently in the qualifiers they showed us something very interesting an interesting lineup to play onto bind usually they use someone different different uh natural their usual agents onto the other map so when they played bind they switched it up so that is just extra confusion here to what Todak will bring to us here in the VTOs this is the quarterfinals round two Todak versus Zeal Esports yeah, and it's gonna be it's gonna be interesting because Todak, uh, I watched one of their interviews actually, actually Ooh. they were uh, they are they are pretty disciplined. They are they are a disciplined team. They 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 like to play standard Valorant here. You do the buddy system. You use your utilities. You get that information, uh, and it could be something dangerous here. It could be a dangerous matchup for Zeal Esports, considering they are an aggressive team. They will fight you for that information. They're not a team that's just like, hey, well, we'll info start you and then let's see what happens. They're a team that are just gonna, when it comes down to it, you want an orb, we want the orb and your life. And that could be what we <laughs> could be seeing in this matchup again. Oh yeah, who knows what come out. It's another Bind game and we just saw Bind earlier in round one and it is just amazing coming out. The attacker side, every single time the team just plays that attacker side, they just dish out all these strats coming out left and right. So I'm excited if these two teams can bring us something more and especially onto the defender side. Maybe we'll see some sort of awkward play, a big push. Who knows? I'm excited for this game, man, Gas. Woo. Well, yeah, it's going to be exciting. I mean, Bind is great. Bind is great just because of the types of comp. Just because, you know, these new agents really change the way that the comp, the, that the map is played. If you want a lot of info, if you want to play for retake, maybe you play double info, tri triple info even, with a with a Cypher, with a Sova, and with a... Uh, with a sky, right? But some pe some mm -hmm. teams that want a more slower, methodical pace, they might just stack up on Sentinels. They'll play a Sage. They'll play a Cypher or even a Killjoy instead, and then drop an Astra for complete and total defensive lockdown. But definitely, this game is going to revolve around two main picks on this map, and they are must picks on a map like Bind. It is Raze. It is Astra. Two of the best multi-purpose agents. Raze clearing out Hookah, making sure that it's safe. Astra, well, I mean, what else can we say about Astra? She literally <laughs> slows the game to a crawl with the amount of utilities that she can just spam and dump on your faces. I mean, it's going to be it's going to be these two things, two two agents. I would be shocked. I would be shocked <laughs> if it weren't again. <laughs> I'm ready to see you shocked. I'm hoping these agents, these teams, play someone different now. <laughs> Here we go. Not to mention. The game is gonna go underway. This is Bayern quarterfinal second round. Zeal Esports versus Tadak. So now we are at the agent picks, and already we see the Astra and the Rays. No shocking results coming out for my co-caster Gas here. And look at that. <laughs> the Viper pops out here. So the meta coming Viper out. Meta. It's just I've, I haven't. I forgot if I've mentioned, but Zeal Esports they play the meta. And they play it well. And now with Flash picking up that Viper, I'm hoping to see some sort of post-plant lineup coming out from these two teams. And look at this. Almost the same. We're, we're looking at the same team composition, <laughs> Guest. 
I told you. I told you. Guys, they're all gonna pick Raze. They're all gonna. They're all gonna pick Astra, of course, Silva naturally. But they're gonna do the same thing. So it's gonna. That was gonna be crazy, right? Because we have a mirror matchup between two interesting philosophies: go aggression or go disciplined. Read, whittle them down, and break their spirits. That's gonna be Todak's Todak's game plan here, and. Uh, Zeal esports, they're gonna they're gonna want to pick that Astra. If they love aggression, if they love information, they're definitely going to Choose love Astra. And it looks like two game on is just gonna be chilling. Like they're gonna spend yeah, this they're time gonna be just... waiting it out yeah. here. So uh, <laughs> just like I've, I've mentioned it before, Todax members when they play Bind, they use this setup. I'm not sure. Maybe Zeal esports did their homework, but usually we see Senna on that Astra. But in Bind, you see her with the Rays, and we see Attica as a duelist. Jet sometimes Reyna, but when you see them in Bind, it's a Sova. So I'm excited to see what kind of big plan or strat they will bring out here against a meta team like Zeal esports. Well, they're both. Well, I guess they. Fi I guess they're. You're gonna get what you're looking <laughs> oh. for because they're both playing the meta. Apparently, <laughs> they're both gonna play the meta pick. So it's all about who has more knowledge. And Dan, you said it earlier. They're Thorak is flexing. So how is that going to influence which team is going to do the team comp diff? Uh, I'm excited to see. Who, who knows? Maybe they'll have the same guns as well. Oh, no, no. Already we see Frenzy and a Ghost separate already. So now we know that there is a difference between these two teams, Tadak and Zeal Esports. <laughs> as we start to head into this round, a mirror map... Man, as soon as I say that, he switches to the Frenzy and now they do have a mirror setup. It's just Senna <laughs> waiting for that light armor, but they do pick up more. <laughs> for that utility use since they are onto this defender's side and it looks like they will try and make a quick push onto this hookah absolutely but look at this default that, that zeal esports they're running here they're going to be leading but Toda, he has the push it's looking dangerous because he has the angle the deco he's gonna be taking that duel but senior car says hello hello subi and subi says goodbye and senior car is just like i'm out of here with the nades and the paint shells moving him away but that's information Todak now knows that they're running some sort of default and they're not going to be able to rotate that was a great decision coming from zeal esports but can they make more because there are no more astra stars available it's only their wits their guts and a bunch of coconuts but can they dome balto who is holding a site down with that toxic screen they're going to be pushing in they don't have any idea but Todak said there you go. it's going to be information fire side agent sees where balboto is playing and Secret Call takes him down, flash taking out Senna as well. Two game monster is gonna be pushing in, but Chain says goodbye. Subi taking one down as well. It's gonna be a 3v3, but there's still a very, very good chance of ZLS. Z Z ZL Esports to take this game, but Senior Call going down to Aduka's frenzy. Can he do it more because Jet going down? He tries to take an Ice Agent, but Nico falls to the shot there. Now it's a 1v1. Subi has no utility, no HP. Does he have the shot? No, he does not. Nico is gonna be holding down that angle. He knows Thorak is there. He knows Thorak is low, but does he know that Thorak is gonna die? Yes, he does. Headshot of Subi. Bro, I mean, just a crispy headshot coming out from Nico here, taking out the remaining member of Todak. It looks so dangerous. Talk about a mirror composition. They had strats being countered. Todak was trying to push up this hookah side with their own strat, and Zeal Esports just pushing up onto the shower, their own side of strats as well. Neither it is all. just amazing coming out from these two teams already. So now we do try and re cap a little bit about this last round gas as we do enter a bit of a pause but before that i did send you a link here i hope you can click on this link that i just sent you it's it's, it's no biggie it's not a virus or a rick roll or anything just uh, hey, check that out <laughs> all right i mean it, again like these guys are these guys are absolutely nuts these uh zls zeal esports they know what they do they know what their game plan is but uh it looks like it looks like Todak, they, they, they know what they want to do as well. Uh, that was a really great defense. That was a really, really great retake. And again, the disciplined play. It's the immovable, the shield versus the spear here again. <laughs> it's the discipline of Todak versus the explosiveness of Zeal Esports. And it looks like the discipline seems to be winning out because Zeal, they're trying to take space. They're trying to get kills. But in small choke points and critical choke points at that, like Lamp, it's very, very difficult to do. And Todak, they're just ready to just throw bodies at you and play for those trades. And again, it's the fundamentals, but more importantly, the discipline to play together, play slow, and wait. 
that's winning them these rounds so far. That, well, at least that's won them the first pistol <laughs> round of the game. <laughs> It's been awesome. Zeal Esports, they know where to place their utilities. <laughs> Even catching one of the members, I was about to, out of the corner with that paint shell as well. They just used so many of these shock darts as well, taking those frags. Toldak was just trying to duel it through, but in the end, it was Nico left alone with that frenzy and gets a crispy headshot onto Subway. He had all the advantage, all the time to play with. He knows where Subway will be as soon as he taps that bomb. Yeah. So now... I have finished, and it is loaded. The website is there. It's called Giveaway. <laughs> okay. Uh, you got me there. You got me there. I mean, what can we say about that beautiful link? It was not a virus. Ladies and gentlemen, we promise you that it's not. <laughs> Exclamation point giveaway in the chat. You get 1,500 Valorant points. 10 times, but of course, you know, you, you don't win 10 times. <laughs> Nine other people win once. So you all get 1,500 Valorant points. All you got to do is click on the link and sign up and you'll get a chance to get one of those newest bundles. I'm pretty sure the current nice, bundle yeah. is looking pretty good, in Ooh, my opinion. So that's 1,500 video po Valorant points. That is a free skin, free skin for you guys. So please sign up now. Jeed is going to be holding that down. They are. They had lost that round. So now they're going to be running Sheriffs and Classics. Jeed is going to be holding down the fort. But with that star and with the gun diff, it's going to be very difficult for them to move in. That's me. There we go. Paint shells from Senior Car. Senior Car is going to be moving in. He has the gun and he has the guts. Will he be able to take the second round? Because Fire Saiyajin, look at this. It's a distraction though. Down Hookah is going to be four people running this default. And it's up to Bal toe to hold it down because now the information is there somebody is going to be playing shower but can balto play this classic well no he does not he's gonna pick my flash flash takes him down balto is down as well it's gonna be an eco and a numbers advantage somebody's gonna have to do something santa is going to have to hold down the fort but anuka falls it's gonna be impossible because santa falls as well see your call take him down sube and jet they're the last ones alive and they're gonna be pushing in but one goes down take the trade oh no it looked like a dangerous round <laughs> trades after trades but Zeal just barely, barely made it, but that was that was an expensive round, Ken. That was a very scary round if you're a Zeal Esports. It was looking good for them. They were boxing Tadak in, taking them from the front, taking them from the back every single time. But speaking of back, Subway pops out there with that classic, getting the frags of their own and almost looked like Zeal Esports. Just getting boxed in out of their own box. But here we go, they finally pick up the pace and that actually opts them to buy up more rifles as they go into this gun round against Tadak. And Teal, they're not, they're, their economy is not looking good. That was just so expensive for them. And now Senna, he's going to be throwing that boom body. He's thinking Ooh. about it. Senior Carl is thinking about it as well. Look at this. He's just going to try to jiggle peek each other, but oh. he decides not to. No! The gravity well is going to take him down. Oh, that was looking so dangerous. That was so close coming from him. <laughs> but now no armor. That was, that was scary. The awareness from Zeal really of the positioning. <laughs> For Senna is absolutely insane, and now they're going to have a good chance because they know Senna's going to be hiding their fast back away. Run away. Senior Carl is going to be moving in, but the Seekers are out, but Sube is out as well. Senior Carl pushing in. He's going to be jumping, and he needs this first frag. He sees one, but goes down, setting him down, and now it's going to be a 4v4 on site, but not everybody was able to get in. The rotations are coming out. Is there enough time? Senna Ooh. gets double peaked by 2K Monster. And now they're going to have the numbers advantage, but Jeet saying, no way, Nico. Balto has backside and the information on where, where. Astra is playing. Balto taking out Fucker Sagittarius. Just one more peek, and Masa goes out as well. It's up to Flash Post. Plant meta, let's go. He's throwing down the Snake Spit. He's throwing down the Toxic Fight. And just going to, you know, chill, take down Jeet. Jeet goes down to the lineup. This is going to be the most interesting play of the game. No poison, big problem. The Decay is going to hurt Balto. And so Ooh. is Flash, but the defuse comes. It was half. It was half. Oh, nice try Ooh. from Flash, though. Jeed really sticking his balls out there, trying to take that toxic snake bite out as he halves that defuse. And the rest of the defuse, kind of about to, does find a little soft spot there and will be able to finish that off. Flash, it looked really good there. It was the lineup of the Viper that we wanted to see, and it showed us too. So now, that was such a clutch from Tadak there, Attica's recon bolt that spotted two members and Zeal Esports just didn't care about it. They let them get scanned because they wanted to play for that post-plant Viper retake. But here we go. The round is theirs and it will be a reset. Yeah, and uh, that, was a, that was good. It's just a back and forth because the economy 
these teams, they need to win one round. If they win two consecutive, that's going oh. to be good for their economy. But Todak is making it a little bit dangerous for Zeal here as Fire Saiyajin takes a little I've bit of damage. Trial. Seekers are out. Info is up. Yeah, Nico is not. spotted as well. They know that it's going to be a an A hit, but the anchors are still down B. And now the pushes are coming in. The Seekers are going to find where Santa is. The plan is going to go down. Santa is blinded. Ooh. By that seeker, and now it's gonna be lapse control. But Santa is gonna say hello to Nico instead. The bombs, the talks, the Viper Spit taking him down. Senior taking down Santa and Aduka at the same time. The Viper Spit is gonna make it a lot harder because there's gonna be four people playing inside. It's up to G, Tsube, and Balto to make something happen, but with barely any utility to work with, it's going to be very difficult because Balto is gonna take a bit of damage and. <laughs> Senior Carl is gonna take his life. Jeed is just gonna be holding but Fireside Jinx says hello to your face. Jeed goes down as well. And it's all up to Sube, but at this point he might just opt to save instead. There's no hope, only a gun. And that's exactly what he's going to do. He's gonna hold on to that gun and just run away. Fly away another day. Sube will stay down this T side area, T tunnel. Yeah, they do secure that rifle to play for this next round. They're gonna need all the firepower that they can get to try and do some sort of hat trick maybe onto this next round. They might even opt for a half buy here just because one of their players have the Vandal to work with. But it looks like it will just be sort of a hero stay here for Sabe. Man, that paint shell coming up from Senior Carl. It's like Babel 2 always calls for it. Hit me with that paint shell, man. And he keeps dying to it every single time. This is going to be frustrating if you're Tadak here. Coming out from Zeal Esports, all the utility usage being used. Okay. Yeah, that's a really great way to, put this, to use those paint shells. But now they're going to try to get that information. They have no idea where everybody is, but that dog is going to be shot down. So they have some sort of idea now, but the Siren Sagen has an idea as well. Senior Carl taking down Aduka, and now they know it's just one more guy down this angle here. Does he see anyone though? No, it is not. It's been completely cleared. It looks like Babal 2 is going to be running away now. The rest of the team, Todap, is going to be moving for that rotation at that time. Zeal Esports, they have the lurk on Babal 2, and now they have the map control as well. They have the site. Subing has no information on where they are, and it's up to Senior Carl and his teammate to help him out. G falls. Subing takes on Fire Side. 2K wants to take one down. Cena taking one down with the classic 2K monster, saving that retake on site. Taking three down with his guns, but that was a great eco from Todak there. And that was a great eco from Todak. They were able to make use of it as much as they can, but it will still be Zeal Esports taking the W there. It's one to four on the scoreboard in favor of them. And now Todak, they've got to be careful on their economy here. Zeal Esports, they're landing on gold. Todak is just eating up on these cup noodles. They have to save. They have to win this round if they want to build up this bank. There. Absolutely. They need these rounds and they're so desperate to stop Seal Esports. Just explosiveness and the aim and utility usage from Senior Carl and Fire Saiyajin are just doing so well. It's not the Fire Saiyajin show anymore. This is Zeal Esports and don't, don't that know it. Hunter's Fury being committed. Ooh. Does Aduka take down Nico? No, Nico gets away with his life and a little bit of health or a lot of health from Fire Saiyajin. A lot of health. Sube though, he has the information. He knows where, at least where somebody is. And the oh. Viper Spit is going to be committed. We're going to narrow down the possibilities. And now you're going to be forced down an A hit. Look at this. Look at this. Fire Saiyan is going to be committing that big dog there. The Trailblazer being committed to try to clear out that angle down last. But now it's going to be Senna. He's going to try to take a duel or maybe a slowdown because Senna is going to be tagged so heavily. He's going to be blind as well. Senior Carl is going to be pushing in. That's going to be half of sight. But Toda, they have more space than you can bargain for. The only thing they have to do now, all Zeal Esports has to do, is shut down those backside players. Take out Subi. Take out somebody. Work for those numbers advantages. But look at the lock. Look at the lock now. Subi has the angle oh, of the crossfire. Oh, coming from showers is denied. Again, the, the ask no. Oh my gosh. Senna taking down Senior Carl. The smokes are working. Subi is taking these 1v1v1s the and, and winning. And Zeal is amazing. all down. Senna and Subi doing all of the work. And now it's up to 2 game monster. But Jeed, he has the shot. Oh. And the read. Jeed takes down Tuge Monster. Oh, the delay, the utility separation, finding those 1v1s. They had to take down an Astra, but it just did not work. And Todak, just take it. One second, they just he... took it. It is working out for them. They have stuff. found their ground, and they are now not eating any more of that away. cup noodles. They're upgrading to some big meals here. Day. As they win that round, 
perfectly flawless round from Tadak. Senor Carl, he was trying to enter that side blind and he never even saw one enemy at all and just died through a wall bank. That just shows how big these teams are when it comes to these utility usage. Definitely, their brains are just massive. These are fat stacks in oh, their brains. Enough. They have the reads. And now Jeed, he's gonna be he's gonna be jump peeking here. He has an idea of where ZL Esports are gonna play. They know they're going to play this default style, this information heavy, information taking style. And with that wall coming down, it almost confirms it. And there, the trailblazer Ooh. being committed. Sube wants yeah, information, he finds information, he finds Seijin at least down that lamp, down that shower angle. And now it could be a tick Enemy because not, they're going to be rotating. Oh. Some Somebody's been marked. Will somebody die? Because Nico has information on Senna. He's going to try to go for two. Oh. See your Carl and Nico. So good on those utilities. Making so much value. And now the map is opened up. But Jeed says we're closing up shop today. Senior Carl going down. Fire Sajin has the angle. He has the, he has the control over Enemy bats. Marks. But is ZLS? Are ZL going to stick it? Because they have an idea. They know where Fire Sajin is. And Aduka is going to shock him out of existence the there. Planted. Fire Sajin is going to be taking a bit of damage. Or a hefty lot of it. it. And Cosmic Divide being committed as well. Just in time, Aduka is able to stop it. Aduka has the angle. He's gonna try to find a fight because Baltu is taking down Tuge Monster and all of a sudden it's looking a lot more dangerous. But from across the map, we have Flash and Fire Sergeant holding down that bad am angle. The Seekers are being committed. They find one, they don't find the other because Nico finds Aduka a lot quicker. And all it's left is Jeed on the defense. Jeed though saying, no way we're closing up shop just yet. Fire Sergeant, barely any HP left. But Jeed has barely any time. The lineups are a little bit too good. She has 33 HP left. All you have to do is speak. Oh. Flash says, yes, that's exactly what I'm gonna do. Jeed goes down that was such a smooth looking retake but it all crumbled it just looks so scary every single time you try to enter this site Tadak just retaking this site and making it really expensive from zeal esports they are easily they are in these sites every single time easily trying to use this utility clearing up the corners using committing even the ult as well taking that frag but it just looks so dangerous in the end, but the post plan coming out from Zeal Esports is just so strong with that Viper snake bites. I wonder if Todak will use that in this next half soon. It's really, it's really the positioning from Zeal, from Zeal, honestly. Zeal has an idea of where to position on the post plan, and they're punishing Todak for it. And Todak just has no control over his site and barely any info to work with because Zeal is just so good at shutting off that info. Now it could be a chance for them to move in. Because Zeal's going to be pushing, and the blind from Sube is going to confirm some sort of information. Fire Sajin is already outside, and Balto is already dead. He falls, that's his brains on the floor, and it's going to be a 5v4. Aduka, he has to hold, but he's smoked off. He has to play this perfectly. It's going to be a push from Sire and Fire Sajin as well. Sube pushing, but he's taken. His life is taken away. See your call. Goes for one, misses. Takes two, though. Jed. Takes down Tuge Monster. Oh, yeah. It's all up to him, but Fire Saiyajin taking down Aduka. Nico falling as well. It's all up to Jeet again. Oh, one more! It's going to be an ace. A chance for an ace. Ace clutch. The fan is up. No! Oh. Ace, though! Fire Saiyajin off that weak jet just clearing the room. All you need is one, and that is Jeet for the ace. That is the ace coming out from GG. You gotta be careful if this man is still left alive. They even up for this timeout to try and slow down. Whoa, wait a minute, G. Let's keep your hands cool here. Not enough of that heat. The utility coming out from Zeal Esports is just working out for them, clearing out their corners, making this space happen. But Tadak with these duels, and we see it there as G takes an ace for his bag of treats 11 kills now on to his name for this scoreboard three to five is the score for these two in favor of zeal esports Tadak is not giving away these sites for free as soon as they know that the bomb is in this site they just try to shut them down but the moment the bomb gets planted zeal esports they take control back and they move on to these post plant positions as we see the viper setting up for the snake bite and that smoke as well but if that bomb is not down you're ha you're gonna have to be scared here because Tondak will enter this site and retake the bomb plant spike. i love <laughs> i really love how Tondak plays here the way that they the way that they move in the site is just okay they have two choices either we rush them and stop the plant with utility with pushes or we just wait we just hold and see what happens and 
the understanding of when to play fast and when to play slow is exactly what's getting them on the side. Is what's making these retakes so successful. And the information from Sube and Fire Saiyajin is going to just end in a deadlock. It's in formation on both sides. Zeal, they're running a default here, but Sube and Jeed. Sube and Jeet, Sube and Aduka actually are holding down B. It's going to be a three stack down there. Fire Saijin just making as much noise as he can as they call for the rotate. Zeal is going to be pushing everybody down A. They want to pick. They want to kill. The Zeal knows. They know that they can be punished in a 5v5. They're willing to respect the fact that Todak are good at retakes. And Todak is just as willing to expect... Uh, Except the fact that Zeal is being given this hefty amount of map control, but Ooh. the information Thank game you. now ends as they are sure the rotate has to go to A. Execute begins. Death begins as well. Balto taking one down, but can he take Senior Carl down as well? The Black Sack is going to go down. Balto taking down Flash as well, but finally his rate of terror and Senior Carl taking down one, two game monster. Another Senna is going down as well. G has a oh. shot on monster though. He's a real monster here. G taking down one, but double peak by Senior Carl. It's still a 2v2, but with barely any left. HP left on Senior Carl and Nico. It's going Quite to be planted. tough against a full HP Subi, but they need these one taps. They need his information. The blind is going to do just that one oh. and two. Great spray control, no HP, no problem for Todak, at least Aduka getting that double, the information from Sube, the play again. That was wild. That was wild indeed. Todak was in full control of that map by that end there. Zeal Esports every single time. As we mentioned, they enter these sites, but they just have so much trouble trying to secure them as Todak. Play that like a T. They just push the members of Zeal Esports down to one corner and Attica just easily lining them up with the spray and finishing them off. Four to five is the scoreboard. We're looking at a very tight game here, guys. Yeah, and it's the discipline of utility, there. but more than that, Balto, these Sentinels, they're doing so good at holding. The information that they get is just so massive. And now there's going to be a lot of information on Subi and Sen as well. Sonne and Subi are going to say, never mind, let's back off Senior Carl. He's going to think about throwing that paint shell. And Subi is thinking about throwing that trailblazer. He finds two. He knows. He knows. He saw Flash getting ready for the lineup. He saw Monster there as well. And now it has to be a rotation or else they're going to be forced into the loving arms of Senna. Senna sees one, blinds another, but he doesn't clear right. Doesn't matter. Nico goes down. The spike goes down. Goes down as well. Senna has information. Senna has everything they need to know that it's going to have to be a full rotate down B because the spike is in complete control of Todak. And now Fire Saiyajin, the rest of Z ZLS, Zeal, they have to figure out how to get this spike back because they're going to be peeking into a lot of information here. Monster shoots Ooh. that down. Senior Carl is throwing the paint shells and they're going to throw themselves in as well. Two game are going down. Senior Carl is all alone. Todak Senna knows it. He has the information. Senior Carl is going to peek into one. But the trades comes out I again. The buddy me. system from Totak is just too much for Zeal. And Su that Saiyajin is, is going to be peek standing. as well. Oh, oh, I don't want to get him down and it's just clean up at this point again. Yeah. It's just clean up the discipline, the team play, the buddy system. We've seen it. They've said it. Yeah, we see it there. Tondak surprising Zeal Esports with that push onto that hookah side. They were not expecting it. They, they just had that half by. They wanted to make something happen. And it looks like Tondak just jumped the gun there and took them out. Not to mention they spotted the spike. So that was just terror coming out from Zeal Esports. They tie up the score here. It is now 5-5. Five to five. So let's see who wins this. This is a big reset. Guns all across the board and abilities. Whew. That was just so much information that Todak had to work with. They were good for those pushes and good for those duels. And it looks like they're it's catching ZLS, Zeal here, off guard. Zeal, they're good for these 1v1s, but against Todak, against a team like this that plays together, it's going to be very, very difficult. The Hunter Spear being committed as well. Does Aduka find a single tag? No, no, he does not, but that almost clears out everything. The Hunter Spear being committed as well. Nico finding Babato. That's their Sentinel. That's their hold down. Todak Jeet is going to try to make something happen. He's thinking they're going to be pushing for laps, but they know better. Flash knows where Jeet is as well. Jeet goes down. That's going to be a 2v5. Sube and Senna are all that's left. There's a blind, but at what cost? Because Nico takes Sube down, and now it's up to Senna. Senna goes down. A great take from Zeal. The tempo change is exactly what they needed. They pushed in faster Last than Val 2 could respond, than Todak could respond. Uh, uh, great utility usage all around, but uh, Zeal comes on top.
Zeal does come on top there. You, you should have seen Balto's perspective. He was down by a gravity well being pulled in. He tried to get away, but then a trailblazer pops up and barks him in the leg. And now suddenly the ultimate hunter's fear being used on him. <laughs> the amount of utility combinations that Zeal Esports is making here. Just all the space they need to try and enter this site. Just one more round to try and secure it for them for some more breathing space onto this second half. Let's see if they try and take it or will Tadak bring back the momentum. Absolutely. Zeal just had that oh, read, but it's a 5-6. Anything could happen. <laughs> the recon, again, it's so standard. They know. Zeal, they're not taking any chances. They are willing to throw down that who that recon dart just to make sure that hookah control is secured. They know where Senior Carl is playing, but can they get the frag? The showstopper being committed. Senna goes down. Senior Carl taking him down. He's leading the charge today. He has Octagon. Senior Carl, though, again, going on this tear, taking on Bal 2. Sube, he has an idea. He think he knows where he might know where Sube is because Octagon hasn't been cleared. So it's up to Flash. Flash is gonna say hello, goodbye, Sube. Sube goes down, and it's up to Aduka and Jeed. But these takes, these one v one zero, they figured it out. Oh. They're finding these oh. chances. And the Vipers are being committed. Flash and Fire Saiyajin. What else can you expect in a two v five? Great stuff from Zeal to secure that Switching round in a comfortable half, but a great one nonetheless. That is seven to five. The scoreboard in favor of Zeal Esports for our match here, quarter finals. This is just a best of one. So so far, it is somewhat a tight game here. It's still anyone's round. Oh, as we see it, Zeal Esports they were just in control of those last two rounds. There, they even had the lurk, all the information and map knowledge. Let's see how they'll do into this defender side as Todak switches up the half and now attacking we've seen jeed with a lot of duelist potential here let's see if we can make him do more for the entries for this attacker's side absolutely it's gonna be it's gonna be wild because uh zeal they they somewhat figured out how how thought plays just use your utility force those 1v1s and that's what they've been doing here. Zeal just had that read. They figured out how Todak wants to play. They figured out how Todak wants to slow. And now it's going to be a push here. Down hookah from Todak as well. But does Zeal have the information? Yes, they do. They find one, but Sube finds another. Saiyajin is exposed and blinded as well by that flash. It's up to Baltu to say hi. Right, hello. Saved by the bird. Baltu is going to be shot down by Togan Monster. He's going to take them down as well. Sen is moving into sight. But falls to Nico. Monster again on his second secret girl. Say hello. That monster says goodbye. He's cleaning it up and it's up to Jet to hold it down. He's one HP. Left senior Carl says right click. And that's about it. Hook, line, and sinker. Senior Carl just doing the work here. That was such a huge and explosive round coming out from Tadak. They get the side, but ZLS 2G Monster with that frenzy just holding down the line there. They could not take this man out. And Senior Carl, they're just chiming in, keeping the side in control out of Tadak. That was a nice try from Tadak. But here we go. It will be the eco round for them. And we've got Spectres and full armors across the board for ZU Esports. It's going to be very hard to enter. Yeah, and now Fire Saiyajin is going to be holding down that hookah position. Tuge, with 2 game Monster, they're going to be playing the team play. Fire Saiyajin is going to go for the big boy blind. He says hello, oh. goodbye. He takes two down. Oh, the collab. Fire Saiyajin, he wants a little more. He's going to go for the classic right click, right click. He's dead. Senior Carl taking down Valto. He's all up to Sube. That was insane. Senior Carl says blast back. But Sube says right click. He has no HP, but it's already done. He's blinded. He's stuck. And now he has to win because Fire Saiyajin wants to eat. He wants the kill, and he's on the hunt. He knows where Sube is, and Sube is just going to try to make the most out of this eco. But Nico has They're his recon, and yeah, now yeah. Sube is going to be exposed and peaked. Sube doesn't have much of a choice because Flash is going to say hello. He's not the only one who's going to get flashed through the bird. Oh my gosh, Gen, the tempo change. Fire Saiyajin doesn't want to sit down. That is true. It's just a cat and mouse chase there as Sube was trying to run away with just this classic away from the hands of Zeal Esports, not giving them that 300 creds. But there we go. He does finally fall. So that was just the eco from Tadak. Let's not count them out just yet. They do have, they do pick up more abilities for this next round. So half armors as well will be used, but they have the gun advantage. They've got the rifles to play with and they've got to play it smart here because they will be facing these specters.
Oh no, the blind coming out oh. from Sube might be what they need, but the, the star and the smoke <laughs> just deny them. Santa goes down to that nade. And now Aduka is going to be pushing down. Zeal, they have no idea where everyone is, so they're gonna stick to that default. The fire side, and he wants to be a little bit aggressive. He finds one, takes on Sword of Senna, and the peek from Sube just comes out a little bit too late, and now they're going to get a free kill. Zeal needed that. Senior Carl is down. Fire Saiyajin with these aggressive plays, with these information plays, are what's winning them these rounds so far. Just all of the information is working out for them here. And the map control that they're seeding from Todak means they have to make these aggressive plays. And now it's up to Todak to make that rotation. And Zeal doesn't have to read. They're none the wiser, but things are looking a little bit too quiet and close for comfort because Balto has just taken down Flash and Monsters Blinded as well. Balto has an idea that they have no lamp control, so they say, let's just throw down a Molly. That's good enough for control of a monster. Yo, how good, of, how good is going to be? Not really. Aduka taking him down. They knew he was going to be lurking down that smoke. And it's up to Fire Saiyajin and Nico to at least do some damage to this buy. Balto, he's waiting, he's hungry, but, but he's turned around, he's turned oh, around and Saiyajin says hello! Saiyajin takes him down, but Todak finally gets the trade, but the, the deal is done. Nico has a rifle, and he just needs one kill, and makes it a lot more expensive for them. It's up to Toba, Sube, and Jeed to hold down this animal of a man. Nico is just going to keep trying to create as much economic damage as possible, but he picks it to Jeed, and Jeed says, denied. But expensive, again, an expensive round for Todak. That is true. Zeal Esports, they lost that round, but... Mentally, they've won it as well. Now they have the gun advantage and the money as well. As we talked about before, Fire Saiyan really taking these aggressive pushes and it works out as he gets the frag and gets the fallback alive with this sky flash being used so nicely for Fire Saiyan. It was almost... A win for ZLS, but Todak, they pick up their pace, and once again, they will just have some half armors to play up this next round. That was uh, economic damage here, and Santa's gonna try to make something happen, but he's stuck by the grab. He gets grabbed! And now it's going to be a difficult push because now they have some sort of information here. They can slow down. Sube finds one, though. That's going to be Nico revealed. See, your Carl takes that Balto on that lurk. He says, no, 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 you don't get a chance. You don't get that chance, and... Uh, now it's going to be a rotation. It looks like Todak is going to be pushing in, but Senior Carl has an idea by himself as well. He finds one, doesn't find another, but he's more than happy with the upgrade that he's got. It's going to be a 3v5. G and Sube are going to send in, but the denied, showstopper denied, Flash taking down Santa, Sube taking down Senior Carl, but G and Sube are going to try to make the most out of it because Flash goes down as well. 3v2, looking a lot more comfortable. The teleporter is still available and they know it. Fire Sergeant holding G, saying, no way, Nico, you're not going to get it again the push down hall over all but confirms it we are staying in a 2k monster he's gonna have to even things out but he's going up against two sube though says no way he goes down to get monster taking him down as well it's all up to g g is all alone in lamp seven bullets he can't afford to give away that information but it's already been given away he's just gonna be blinded fire side is just gonna slow them down as much as possible it's going to be a diffuse but a kill on g as well confirms that retakes from from zeal the, the patience and the understanding, but more importantly, they're able to win these duels again. <laughs> you said it there. They really denied G to try and go for a duel there. They just slowed them down with those flashes coming up from Fire Sajin. That is the power of the sky there. We see it. Three flashes. Flash number one, flash number two, flash number three. And with that diffuse going down... It just looks so bleak coming out from Jeet, who just wanted to make the duel happen. So now they lose another round and they have to go for another eco. Um, I know Zeal, they're just playing together, but even when they don't, they're so deadly by themselves. This is a team of superstars here, just able to punish them. Even when Todak plays together, Zeal is able to get away with it. And now, Z Senior Carl is going to try to get away with a lot more. He knows they're going to be on an eco, but he's playing passively. Just let them come to us. Let them take these duels. Oh, Balto, he's going to try to knock Senior Carl out of that angle. So that they have no information. They're getting starved here. They're trying to figure out where they want to play. But Zeal, they're not going to have a single bit of it. They're going to wait. They're going to be patient. They know that Todak is trying to slow down the pace. And Zeal is comfortable with it because that's exactly what they want to do. They don't want to get red. And they're staying unpredictable. That's smart. Mm. Aduka is going to be moving in as well. But the... Uh, 
the 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 recon seems to be denied. Not the blind though. Fire Sidekin is gonna go for the counter as he's only taking down Toda Aduka with him. He's going to peek again. No way, Jose! He does three! That was crazy! This guy's insane to your coping that one blast back up! Jed goes down. Fire Saiyajin for his fourth again. These hyper aggressive plays from Saiyajin, Fire Saiyajin. You never know when to expect them. Yep, and here we go. Just uh, it's team Fire Saiyan at this point so far, as he shows up and picks up a lot more of these aggressives and making them work. Tondak was trying to play the mind game there, but they fell right into Zeal Esports trap where they were holding three of their members defense onto this B long side. So Tondak, with this reset, with this gun round, they need to take back some momentum. It's looking a really, really dangerous for Toda here. But Senna is going to try to go for that aggressive play. He knows that Flash has been, well, flashed off that <laughs> angle. And now they have Bats control. Toda Aduka is going to try to find information again, but he can't because the blinds and the smokes are just going to be a little bit too much. The Hunter's Fury is going to be a substitute for that. Now to take down Flash and the damage as well. Senior Carl is all alone backside and he's blind. He's going to be dealing with one and two. But Senna goes down. He's still able to do it. He's still able to win these duels. And now it's going to be evened out 4 by 4 But Cosmic Divide is being committed, making it a lot harder for this attacking team. Cosmic Divide moves in, but so does Fire Saiyajin. He blinds one. Does he take down the other? Jed hides behind the Cosmic Divide. He hears oh, one. No, no, no. Viper's been denied. Ralto goes down. He's going to go for the plastic, but he goes down as well. So we think about one and two. Nico goes down there. Whoa. For Sube, Senior Carl is dead as well. And it's up to Monsta to live up to his name. Can he move in? No, he cannot. <laughs> Super on his fourth. On his fourth from behind. There was just too many angles, Ken. Too many. I can't believe this matchup we're looking at here. It's not just a mirror team composition, man. We're looking at 4Ks from both teams. Round after round after round. First, we see that big ace. And then we see another 4K. Man. It was such a great push coming up from Fire Saiyajin. Another aggression. Tadak was not expecting him to be in the middle of that side and denies Flash. Ah, Baltus. Pretty much the Viper's Pit. So here we go. They do get one round back, but let's see if they can try to keep it going. Flash is going to be just using that Viper's Pit. That's a great call from the IGL there. Just to hold it down, deny anyone any sort of information and any sort of control, and it allows them to make this aggressive push. But Zeal, look at this. Look at this. Look at what Fire Saiyajin and Senior Carl are doing. No way they do this. No way they get away with this. Nobody's watching the flank. It's a full commit, and Zeal knows it. So they're like, if it's a full commit, we must all go A, because they have no choice now. They're going to be stuck. They're going... To be oh, alert by Senior Carl. This could be useful. No! Aduka knew it! He knew oh. Senior Carl was gonna be there! No way they do that! And now Aduka is worried about that lurk. Yeah, I give him the spam. You know, but he lurks on me. Aduka was aware that they had no map control and that this is a hyper aggressive team. But again, Fire Saiyajin, are they gonna be aware of the second lurk? It looks like they're taking their time. Fire Saiyajin is going to be holding, but Balto peeks it through him. He has the spike, spike and now he has down. to wait. He hears one, takes oh, another down. He got blinded. Down. Team blind, Sube <laughs> blind his own teammate. Now it's going to be a 3v3. Sube and Jean and Senna are going to have to hold down the fourth monster flash and Nico, all of the information they need. And the judge yeah. goes, takes one down. The perfect Bad peek, one. the perfect timing on Senna, and it's up to two gay and. Monster to hold everything down. Jeed knows where one is. Nico takes down Jeed and Monster takes down Sube. The positioning from Zeal, the lurks, the map awareness. It's just too much. It's, it's unfair. My head, my head is aching, man, from reading. It's just back to back every single time. You see that lurk coming out. The Viper Spit has been committed. So a push coming out from Zeal Esports. But Attica, with the timing, was able to spot Match the lurk point. coming out. They take one down. But when they tried to take out Fire Saiyan, it's like the heavens were just watching and give this man a flash. And his teammate just flashed just the teammate there. So Fire Saiyan staying alive a little too long there. And with that ult coming out, from Sube, trying to trail base uh, the information. Two of those ults went to aid, so they thought that those two members will be far away. They did not expect Nico to come out that fast. 
Nico, oh man, this is just, this is just, everything is just working out in their favor here. The timings, the understandings of the position is working out, but will this defense work out as well? Because Saijin is gonna do it again! No, oh. he's denied! Everyone's shooting at him! Aduka, no <laughs> trade for you! Aduka takes out Sire Saijin, ending the show match, and now it's up to the rest of Zeal. Nico is gonna be throwing down that Hunter Spear. He finds two! Okay, Jeet goes down. Tags another. Sube is gonna climb and go for the heal, but Senior Carl taking on Balto again is up to Sube and Aduka. The defaults are just not working out in their favor. There's just so much aggression from Zeal here that is preventing Toda from even stepping foot in the promised land that is the site. And now, Flash, he has to lurk. And no way, no, no, nobody knows the trouble I've seen and the trouble that he's going to see is a flash. He knows that Sube is going for the heal. He knows, he's waiting, he sees the gun and he got the shot. It's all Aduka and now the comms are there. Hey guys, you know, uh, there was a heal coming out. I, I don't know about you, but I'm pretty confident that it's going to be an A hit. But uh, it looks like the rest of Zeal aren't convinced. They're more than happy to just chill. They're more than happy to just wait for the second rotate. Left. But that is going to be information that somewhere out there is a scared and nervous Aduka just waiting, trying to hold on to his gun because there's not much economy to work with. Aduka just wants idea. to save at this point. And he's going to plant. His team needs the extra money. So just plant yeah, and run. No need to defend. Just get a couple of kills and then you're out. But it looks like he wants to clutch up. They can't afford to lose another round because this is match point. It's all up to Aduka now. He can get the kill oh. on one, but does not get the kill on the other. And just like that, the round making game. Match point. Game point goes in favor of Zeal. The monsters that they are. They take this defensive half convincingly. Defenders GG, win. man. That was such an amazing matchup. What I, what did I just witness there? Just back and forth. The strats coming out. The mirror team composition. You see it there. And looks like Zeal Esports does come on top. Todak, they really showed us a showing here. They really tried up and grinded up there. But this is just a best of one. So the pressure was also there. Momentum-wise, it is very scary when you're playing these tournaments in the best of one as well. So that is, and that will be, Steel Esports advancing to the semifinals. That will be the day after tomorrow because tomorrow we still have an extra set of quarter finals to watch here in the VTO. That was that was that was wild. Like, of course, everyone on Zeal was doing their job, but again, the aggression from Zeal, the aggression from Fire Saiyajin, and the positioning as well, just doing doing so good. But let's not forget the Sentinels. Two game monster and Flash are just so good at holding down these sites that even when Fire Saiyajin and Senior Carl weren't pushing for information, Zeal was able to just like was able to narrow down and hold whatever. Thought that was doing. They just had an answer for every single strat here again. That is true. It's just nice try from both teams. They really, they almost made it happen with their duels, getting the 4Ks and the Ace as well. They really, star player, he rode back in, but Zeal Esports with the team comp, with the utility, with all that strats as well. They take it. 7 to 13 will be the final score in favor of Zeal esports such a nice game so far guess i had fun that was that was that was fun that was that was great again but you know as as all good things you know we you and i know that they all come to an end and unfortunately this was the last game but as gan said there's a lot more coming your way tomorrow we will be having the next set of quarters but there is something that you can never get enough of and that <laughs> is of course giveaways we're not talking about quarters we're talking about thousands 1500 valorant points to be exact ladies and gentlemen if you haven't already please sign up for our giveaway exclamation point giveaway in the chat if you want to sign up 10 winners for 15,000 valorant points if you love someone or you love yourself get them a skin <laughs> sign up for our giveaway and give it a shot yep you never know you could be one of the 10 lucky winners which will be announced on to july 3rd i believe so till then Sit back, sit tight, and get ready for more as Valorant Tournament 1 is not over. This was just the quarterfinals, first part, second part tomorrow, semifinals after, and then the big, big finals in the end. I'm excited which country or city will come up on top here all across this SCA tournament.
Absolutely, again. And I guess with that, I think we'll have to bid you adieu. I've been your caster, Gas Socks Fast. And I have been Genera Eleven. Signing off.